so working on getting ready um excuse the messy sink but i'm just trying to do my makeup a little bit and then i'm drinking my coffee and then there's all my cute little hippos that i've collected over the years from east africa that's another story for another time um but yeah i'm just currently getting ready so it should be done soon But I do want to say that if you look next to me, the one nice thing about working on the weekend, and it's a Saturday, is that there's more parking in the parking garage, so I get a good spot. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to take you guys along with me today and show you what I do as a CNA, a Certified Nursing Assistant, or PCA, as sometimes we're called, Patient Care Assistant. And I just wanted to say that I don't technically have my certification to be a nursing assistant. What happened was that they counted my first semester of nursing school as my certification, if that makes sense, because we did skills in our fundamentals class that equated to what we would learn in um, a certification for being a nursing assistant. So things like um, taking Foley's out, taking IVs out, um, things like that. And of course I had to have my BLS that semester too. So that's one of the qualifications. And anyways, so if any of you guys are looking at being a nursing assistant, it's actually kind of easier to do once you've already been in a semester of nursing school. I kind of wish I had started sooner, but I think I still started at a time that was really good for me because I definitely couldn't have juggled nursing school and being a nursing assistant at the same time during my first semester but once I got the hang of first semester of nursing school I figured out what I needed a little bit better so um there's a car behind me I just don't want to look creepy anyways so that is all that I have for you guys now but I'll just take you along with my day and show you what I do as much as I can I can't film a whole lot but I'll show you as much as I can so I hope you guys enjoy this
6, 12 in the morning. I'm back at work. And I don't know. It's day two of <laughs> two. It's not going to be that bad. But do you ever just get to work and you're like, I just don't know. I don't want to be here right now. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I love my workplace. I love the people that I work with. Um, and yesterday wasn't terrible. Today will probably be another decent day. But, you know, sometimes when it's just early in the morning and you've had a long week, especially in school, I just don't want to do it. But it'll be okay. Gotta have a positive mindset. You're here. Can't do anything about it. Gotta get that paycheck. So it's going to be a good day. I just hope everybody else wants to wake up as slowly as I do. I also wanted to mention that I don't think I put this in my last new nurse haul, but I got these pair of stoggles and they've just got a um, little extra coverage on the side. So they look really cute. They're called stoggles, so it's like glasses and goggles at the same time, but they just cover the sides of your eyes. My school has approved them. My workplace has approved them. Um, but I just feel like they fit better. They don't fog up once you put on your mask. And I just prefer wearing them um, over the like plastic goggles that we get at work. So, yeah. Stoggles, if you wanna sponsor me, that would be great because I love you guys and these are awesome. I have no complaints about them yet. <laughs> home now and I'm just making myself some chicken tenders and these are the gluten-free ones by Simply Smart but they're really good. I usually have a couple of these after work because they're the easiest things for me to throw into the oven and make and then I'll use kind of the off-brand Chick-fil-A sauce that Walmart has uh, with these and it's so good. So that's what I'm eating for dinner. I chugged down a ton of water today so you guys can be proud of me. I don't know. This is my Yeti and I've got it covered in cute little stickers. Um, yeah, this one's my favorite. Anyways, so one of these holds, I think around 30 ounces of water. Um, and I drink three of them a day. So I typically try to reach 90 ounces of water a day. So I managed to drink three and a half of these. So I really hit it today. Um, I was definitely in the bathroom a lot, but at least my kidneys are happy today with me. While my nuggets are in the oven, I kind of wanted to show you guys my nursing assistant worksheet that we use on my unit. Um, it'll kind of give you guys a better idea of what I do throughout my day. So this is the sheet that I use and I'll usually get report from another CNA during the night. Um, but we'll just go room by room, sometimes standing in front of the room, just so we can get a good look at the patient and in case the CNA from the night before maybe forget something. The nurses usually will do the same thing with their S-bars, but 
That way, while they're doing a walk through the room, if there's a question, they can answer it before the night shift nurse leaves. So this gives you a good idea of what I do throughout the day. So everything that you see here, temperature, blood sugars, uh, oral intake, uh, outputs. So if they have a fully catheter or a bowel movement or something like that, um, a catheter care, uh, baths and weight. These are all things that I do throughout the day for each patient. And then I also chart, which is why I have this here so I can write it down and I can chart it if I need to. Um, and my unit, because it's an ICU, typically the nurses will do it. Um, but I still keep track of it because sometimes they need help catching up with their task lists and I will do it. But our ICUs get so, so busy and our managers don't necessarily expect us to be able to do the charting every single time because it's more important for us to walk our patients. I work on a cardiovascular ICU unit and they, each patient who's a surgery patient is expected to walk three times per day. So for me, that's three times per nine patients and that is a lot of walking and <laughs> it takes up a lot of my time, but it saves the nurses from having to walk walk each patient which will take somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes um, and that's a lot of time here's the checklist so these are things that I will do at the beginning and at the end of the shift at least once if it needs to be done so I usually take out trash at the end of the shift change the linens at the end of the shift um, if we have a patient uh, going out I will strip down the rooms and get it ready for the next patient um, I did this one today, I did this one today, I did that one. So, um, baths, I will say I did baths today, but usually if there is a patient care assistant on at night, they do all the baths and we do all the walking. I know it's different for every unit, but that's how we do ours because they have more time to do the baths at night and we have more time to do the walking during the day because nobody wants to be walked at 1 a.m. in the morning. And yeah, basically the same thing for night shift. So that's how I keep track of everything and chart. Hey guys, so I took a shower and dried my hair and now I am just gonna get ready and go to bed. My shadow back there is just a little bit awkward, but I'm just watching some YouTube. I ate dinner and was watching YouTube while I was eating dinner and I went ahead and took my makeup off and put some like face moisturizer on and stuff. So. Now I am just chilling and I'm not quite sleepy enough to like fall asleep yet but I think I might read a book and then go to bed because it's been a long week and tomorrow I'd like to go to church so yeah anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this content if you did don't forget to leave a comment um, hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed it and stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.